If you follow me on social media, you probably saw a post that I did on Instagram or Instagram stories yesterday saying that I returned my Canon EOS R and I replaced it. Was that a good decision? Was it not a good decision? Well, I'm gonna tell you I'm actually really happy that I did in fact return the Canon EOS R that I originally purchased and replace it with this guy. And I'm gonna give you my reasons as to why it is that I went ahead and made this change. But before, let's get one thing straight. Check this out. Yeah, you've been clickbaited. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but what I did is I returned the original Canon EOS R so that I could pick up the version that actually had an R series lens. Because in my original purchase, I only bought the body and I bought that $99 um, adapter. And what I decided to do, because I enjoyed shooting on the Canon EOS R so much, and because it is such a good companion to the Canon C200 or the C300 Mark II, especially when you're recording externally in 10-bit 422, that I decided I was going to go essentially all in on the Canon mirrorless. Because the one thing that has taken me the longest to build has been my lens collection. And if Canon is going to put out another mirrorless camera that uses the R series lenses, then I want to begin to build my R lens collection. That is, in a nutshell, why it is that I returned the original and ended up purchasing the one that actually came with the lens. So I'm just gonna unbox it real quick. Armando from Mondo Bytes did an unboxing and he talked about how the unboxing experience was not great and he's spot on. So while it doesn't bother me, this is very much an industrial looking package. So here it is, the Canon R series 24 to 105. I actually own the regular L series of this also. And this little ring, which is very, very intriguing to me and why it is that essentially I'm all in at this point with the um, Canon EOS R line. And now my new camera, which is exactly the same as the previous one. <laughs> Only this one came with the kit. And why didn't I just buy the lens? Because the lens wasn't available. This was faster to get. So returning it and getting the kit was way faster than, um, way faster than waiting for the lens only to be available and then for the lens only to actually make it to me. I mentioned in my video where I did the comparison, which by the way, if you haven't seen it, you might want to check it out. I'll put a link up above, where I matched the EOS R to my C200 and my C300 Mark II, that the LUTs were not going to get you there. I've been slammed. Um, those of you who follow me on other social channels, you know that I've I've said I've been slammed here um, recently, but I will be releasing a video showing how it is that I graded all of those so that you can try it on your own. And I'll also be releasing a set of LUTs. Um, they'll be technical LUTs, right? Because we're just wanting to even out all the cameras and then you can stylize them to whatever you want. And I'm gonna be releasing them as experimental. So keep your expectations I guess in check, sort of, but it should help some of you um, get off the ground and hopefully get a lot more benefit out of the camera in relatively short order. So this box is the other item that I returned and now replaced. And you guys, <laughs> it's totally, um, yeah. What?
This is not what I expected. This is not what I expected. To be continued.